for Children's Week changes every year, the views and sentiments that first prompted its inception remain the same. Children everywhere, regardless of their nationality or background, have the right to proper care and love. And it's during Children's Week that we encourage children's awareness of their rights and responsibilities. And we focus the community spotlight on their accomplishments, needs and aspirations. Boys and girls, this is your week. I want to thank you all for being here. Every year a theme is chosen by the National Children's Week Committee. This provides a foundation upon which activities of all kinds can be based. In recent years, themes have included children of the future, looking to the next 200 years, the year of the homeless, and the rights of the child, our national responsibility. By planning and participating in events held in their own communities, children themselves are able to express how they think and feel about the issues raised by the theme. Right, uh, next we have to go to the Jaguar, and the Jaguar doesn't have simple spots, what does it have? At the Melbourne Zoo, children of all ages are made aware of their responsibility towards the care and preservation of rare and endangered species of wildlife. The ribs keeps catching the ground. The ribs all the way down the body, the muscles are full. When do they share? There's also the opportunity for children to work together and make new friends. With some groups, the emphasis is on children having fun through play and recreation. Parents, teachers and children organise a series of colourful activities inspired by the multicultural influence of this school. favourites are given a new lease of life. <laughs> Playing games from other lands shows new ways of having fun together. Learning through new and special experiences is part of what Children's Week is all about. Children's responsibility for preserving the environment is dealt with in a practical manner in both city and country locations. Through sharing skills such as the recycling of paper and planting of trees, children achieve a sense of personal involvement in conserving the world which they will one day inherit. At a specially convened sitting of Parliament, children become involved in planning and decision making for the future as they voice their thoughts and opinions on the rights and responsibilities of the child. It is only in a peaceful environment that children can enjoy their fundamental rights. When we are the adult members of our society, we will have the responsibility and power as custodians of these rights to ensure that every child has the right to enjoy these rights, regardless of race, colour, sex, religion, national or social origin. Mr Speaker, we commend this right of the child to the House. On Universal Children's Day, children right across the world are linked together in a great circle of friendship.
The child's right to proper nutrition is something that even the very young can learn about. This mural painted by the children acts as a reminder that the spirit of Children's Week lives on throughout the year. The integration of able-bodied and disabled children through the medium of theatre provides the opportunity for children to learn about their responsibilities towards helping each other. How can we run and have fun in the sun when there's no, no sun? Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Without the sun, there is no fun. Where is the sun? <laughs> The National Gallery comes alive as children illustrate their rights to personal expression by taking part in a series of exciting events that link the visual and performing arts. From Walgett to the sea, from Conroy's Gap to Castlereagh, there's none can ride like me. I'm good all round at everything, as everybody knows, although I'm not the one to talk. I hate a man that flows, but riding is my special gift, my chiefest soul delight. <laughs> so. Marry me, you would say. And you would say? Yeah. Of course you would. Well, you did that once. Through participating in all these activities, not only do children get to know other children, they realise that Children's Week really does belong to them. It also helps us to realise that the thoughts and ideas expressed during this special week should carry on and continue to bear fruit throughout the entire year. These are only a few examples of how you can join in to celebrate Children's Week in the years to come. Let's all go together. 